Hello everybody, welcome to another preview of a Wolves match. I'm Tom Rouse, thank you for watching. Just wanted to start the preview of this match by talking about Paul Lambert and how a couple of weeks ago lots of people were calling for him to be sacked and I'm really glad that he stayed true to himself, he carried on playing the same style of football. Lots of Wolves fans stuck by him, myself included. I think that he's a good manager, particularly at this level, and he's made really good use of the resources that he's got. We're very good on the counter-attack because we've got some really quick players out wide and again proved on Tuesday night with the goal against Forest that when when we do break we are really really dangerous. So I think he deservedly won manager of the month but I did think when I saw it this morning that quite often that's the kiss of death. But I think we're far enough away from from danger now to be uh, to be dragged back into that. So well done to Paul Lambert and let's hope that we can continue this great run of form now on Saturday. I've also just watched uh, the interview with Jeff Shee on the Wolves Player YouTube channel and it was very interesting again to hear you know that we'll be having plenty of investment in the summer and all that stuff which is great but what m interested me the most was that he was talking about Bakary Sacco and Benikafobi and their sales and not replacing them and how that Fosun shouldn't be judged on things like that because it wasn't part of their tenure, their time. And it made me realise that these boys must have really researched the club and remembered and, you know, it, it's been part of their lives for longer than the six months or eight months and nine months that they've been here now. It's been a couple of year process for them. And that's it's made me feel better about them and he said he didn't put a number on a budget for the summer but he said for the fans to expect considerable investment again which is brilliant. So onto the game on Saturday. Wolves are top of the form table having won five and drawn one of their last six. Bristol are sort of mid table in the form table. They've won two, drawn two, lost two over the last six games. They've just had two defeats. A 2-0 defeat to Brentford and a 5-0 defeat away at QPR so it will be interesting to see how they come back from a huge defeat like that. That's one of the things that Wolves have had this season is that we haven't been battered in any games. We haven't had to pick ourselves up from a damaging defeat like that. We've always sort of lost it 1-0 or thrown away a win to, to be a draw with a bit more experience next season and a bit more uh, stability and consistency. I think that's all that stopped us this season. I think we've shown that we're a good squad. We've got some excellent players in that squad. Bristol's main threat, of course, is Tammy Abraham, who's been on loan from Chelsea this season. He's scored 19 goals. And at the age of 19, you've got to think that he's going to be a real star for the Premier League in the future. To score 19 goals in a struggling team this season needs a lot of credit, and we need to be careful of him tomorrow. In terms of the way that Bristol set up is very similar to us in terms of formation, 4-2-3-1. I don't think that their front four players will interchange as quickly and as freely as ours do. I think we, that's our USP, if you like. That's our what makes us stand out from any other team at the moment. And that's what's getting these results, is that freedom up front. The defences that we're facing are not able to set up rigidly against it because of us interchanging and, you know, the left and the right wing has changed in environment coming onto the wing and Marshall. It's, I think it's excellent, excellent to watch. And I'm looking forward to going to the match tomorrow as well and seeing us playing away because I haven't seen us play away from home since the Cardiff match. In terms of injury news, really great news in terms of injuries. Zyro and Graham made somewhat of a comeback this week. They played a behind closed doors friendly where they both came through the game unscathed, which is brilliant. And as long as they're in full training now for the foreseeable future. I expect that we'll see one of them, if not both of them, from the bench at some point before the end of the season. I've just watched Paul Lambert's preview of the match as well and he was a bit non-committal about Helder Costa and his availability for tomorrow but I'd expect that if there was any sort of danger, any sort of question, he'd be rested. It's not as big of a game now as we thought it would be a couple of months ago when we were down in the dumps. It looked as if this could be our cup final. Like, But I think we can almost afford to lose it tomorrow. If we do 
then it's not the end of the world. We've still got a game in hand. We've still got 10 points, 11 points on the bottom three. I, I wouldn't risk Costa, personally. And Kyle Akimi is still out. He's expected to be another couple of weeks with a hamstring injury. So, Lonergan, although he didn't play well last week against Cardiff, he did come in and make a couple of... Well, particularly in the last minute against Forest, he made a really good save there. Uh, and he, he set up the goal as well, in a way. He started the move... Uh, from the Cody's goal line clearance. In terms of a prediction, I'm going to go for a 2-0 win for Wolves. Uh, I think that Cavaliero is due a goal. I'd like him to score. And I would love Nuadico to score another goal. That would be great for him to score back-to-back -back games. I imagine that he'd be in with a shout of starting the game if Costa's not fit. So I'm going to go for Dico to score again as well. Right, so that leaves me to say thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you to all those people who have been subscribing recently. If you want to be involved in my Football Manager experiment, check out the video that's on your screen now and subscribe down here so that you are able to keep track of the goings on. Thank you very much for watching again and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.